take two. I was rudely interrupted by a neighborhood child looking to play with my children. But my children have to do their homework when they first get home from school, not play. So he went that way. So anyways, I'm going to re-say everything I just said before. Came home today, had a package in the mail I expected, which was from Mr. Freeland, better known to y'all as Sick for 2024. I'm very curious about Mr. Chris's package because he said he went into a different direction because he couldn't stand to buy Packer stuff. And honestly, I can't stand to get Packer stuff right now because they have done shit during the off season that's really starting to piss me off. <sighs> but anyways, I digress. Secondly, I had an unexpected package from this guy. And if it's anything like the last one, I'm very, very frightened over it. He did uh, very nicely give me a name. I'm now Sir Jessiford. So I don't know if that means I am now, uh, you know, in competition for the Game of Thrones or what the deal is, but that's pretty cool. Now on the back it says, here we go again. Ever notice how close Rodriguez is to Roderick? I could see myself being a Roderick. Seem a little normal, and then all of a sudden I just let out some weird kooky laugh. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. It must be the Roderick in me. And then I got a fun package in the mail. Oh yeah, we all know what that is. eBay douchebag. But not only did eBay douchebag send it in a plain white envelope, he sent it in another plain white envelope. Which then housed my Vin Baker card in a penny sleeve. But luckily, she's okay. But eBay douchebag for the loss. Now on to my pickups. For my Duke PC, that's starting to get chunky, chunkier by the moment here, picked up a couple more JJs. And hopefully you can hear the, the funky funk of the bass in the vehicle outside, because, you know, they always have to sit in our car and play their fucking bass up at 20. We'll call it a soundtrack. That was another J.J. Reddick, by the way. Then a couple of on-card Christian Leitners, because everybody knows that I am infinitely in love with Christian Leitner. This one's out of, I think, Legends or something. Ultimate Collection Basketball. And hopefully I'm holding the cards right. I know I got good lighting, but I'm, ho I'm hoping that I found a nice little X point to hold them. So you just got to see my hand do that. For the Bucks PC, I picked up a couple of City Moncriefs. This one I really like. Beautiful on card from Press, pa the pa the Press Pass. Awesome on card out of SP Signature of Desmond Mason. Out of Timeless Treasures, number 299, Monte Ellis. The red version, numbered out of 79, of John Henson. An awesome, sickly patch, numbered 8 out of 10, of Mr. Bogut. The Aussie from Down Under. Shrimp on the Bobby. Wallabies. All that nonsense. Another Ben Baker. And the coup de gras of my Bucks pickups in the last couple weeks is awesome Ray Allen. Love me some Ray Allen. Oh, next up I got some Fleeners to show you. Lo I'm loving the look of this product. So yeah, I went I went balls deep and picked up a few already. This one's numbered out of 25. It is Discipline from Valor. Kobe Fleener. Courage, numbered out of 70. A Speed, number 2 out of 70. It's a patch. They call it a Authentic Field Armor Patch. Numbered out of 170. I think this is what they would consider the base version. And lo and behold, a company that actually redeems their cards in a prompt fashion. Thank you, Tops, for redeeming my Tops Prime, level five, four pieces of memorabilia, and a sticker auto. 
still over a year and a half later, and I'm still waiting for Panini to give me a Keith Jackson auto. Maybe one day. You might die first. All right, let's break into the sevens. Seven sack. See what the old boy got me this time. Oh, this is the front. It says better than a hug on the back. I think so. I don't think anything's better than getting a nice big old man hug from you, buddy. You will be getting one in August. Believe that. All right, so I'm a slider. So you're going to see it before I am. Let's drop off the back. Oh, I hate it when I see that name. 14 out of 20. Oh, you whore. Oh, three color patch, sticker auto. What is this out of? This is out of Panini. Prime Cuts, 2011. Robin Yount. You guys are killing my Robin Yount PC. Good gravy. God damn, that is awesome. Michael. Ugh. Once I get some more money, I'm going to hook you up again. And again, and again, and again. Just be ready for that. Now on to Chris's package. Ooh, we got two. Two little sex love here. All right. Let's, I think this is where it starts. So it says, Jesse, I just wanted to thank you for your generosity. I also want to thank you for being a great friend. I hope you need this card. And I hope you want the last card. P.S. Wrap securely for no peeking. Open on cam. Enjoy, Chris Fralin. And the second one says, I had to go out of the box on this one. No, not my box, the proverbial box. And it does say last, so I'll do this one last. P.S. Everyone needs one of these in their collection, right? Plus, I know you are in love for this product. Oh, boy. All right, so let's, uh, let's get into the first bad boy here. Not quite a sick of booby trap. Very well packaged. I'm going to start sending my Christmas presents down to to uh, wrap it. Oh, and I don't have this. I saw the back. Shit. Sorry. Uh, SPX 2003. Uh, just absolutely disgusting. Four color, four color. Griffey and Dunn. I've almost had this card one probably three years ago and it just went too rich for my blood, so I know probably how much you had to, uh... God, that is a gorgeous card. One day I'm going to do a video and show all these, but yeah. God, that's awesome. Stud. All right, now let's do the last pack. And this time I will try not to, to look at the name before I... That's why I got my hat on back this day, too. Chris, little Chris Fralin mojo. Oh, I saw the name on the back. All right, let's, let's do, oh, you, you, oh, you fucker. Oh my God, I, I, what the shit? You did watch all my videos, you SOB. Oh my god, that is so fucking fabulous. On card, out of Ultimate Collection. Oh, Peyton Manning. Another one of my man crushes. Oh. God, I love this. I love... I love all you guys. I, I, I can't wait till fucking August. I can't wait till August. I, I love each and every one of you that I've had dealings with. I've watched videos. I am so fucking honored to be a member of this community. I'm so honored to have such cool people in my life like Michael and Chris. That's all I got. Um, thank you both for such an awesome mail day. Oh, 
I'm gonna go take a cold shower now.